Thank you for joining me on the Lookout Guy. Before getting into today's program, episode titled Another Christian Ministry Gets Kicked Off of the Airwaves, I want to give you a chance to call and pray. Pray for your nation. Pray for yourself or others. It is a a seven-day-a-week, 24-hour-a-day hotline for prayer from the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. The number is 1-888-388-2683. 1-888-388-2683. And thank you for joining me on The Lookout Guy. I am Michael Tobin, and I am your Lookout Guy. As usual, looking out for you and me. On this episode, commentator... Dr. Frank Wright of D. James Kennedy Ministries at djkm.org and host of Truths That Transform radio and TV production. He looks at newly acquired documents that indict a major federal agency in the paid procurement of fetal tissue and organs from aborted babies. You heard that right. A major federal agency in the paid procurement of fetal tissue and organs from aborted babies. Too many want to hide these illegal practices, but truths that transform at D. James Kennedy Ministries will not. Watch Dr. Wright's Truths That Transform commentary and you can listen to it here. A few months ago, this program was kicked off of a major cable television outlet, the Lifetime Channel, because we produced an episode investigating Planned Parenthood's ghoulish trafficking of baby body parts. Lifetime said that we could only remain on their network if we agreed to steer clear of all controversial issues which, as it turned out, includes even the subject of George Washington's well-established Christian faith. The man who first documented Planned Parenthood's crimes, David Daleiden, was himself criminally prosecuted for recording the incriminating videos of Planned Parenthood officials, while they were left scot-free to continue their grisly trade. Daleiden was first prosecuted by California Attorney General Kamala Harris, now Vice President of the United States. That prosecution was continued by her successor, Javier Becerra, now President Biden's Secretary of Health and Human Services. We should mark this well. This is the astonishing reaction of a conscience-scarred nation to the exposure of its bloodthirsty crimes. The messenger is punished, whether through slipshod prosecution or through banishment from public forums. But friends, you can be certain of this. With God's help, it will not stop us. We will continue to stand for truth. Recently, Judicial Watch obtained hundreds of pages of documents from the Food and Drug Administration under the Freedom of Information Act. These documents show that the FDA spent tens of thousands of taxpayer dollars to procure human fetal tissue from a California firm. That firm works with Planned Parenthood who harvests the organs of aborted babies to the tune of about $2,000 per baby. This firm had what it called a fees per services schedule, which shows different prices for a baby's brain, eyes, liver, and so on. Now, I want you to stop and try to imagine the morally deluded consciences of those who would see the exposure of these horrendous acts as greater crimes than the acts themselves. Such people populate this current presidential administration. 
and we are not going to stop saying so. Whatever pressure they and their media accomplices try to push upon us, with God's help and with your prayers and your support, we will continue to proclaim God's word in the face of such unvarnished evil. And you can find out more at djkm.org. And I would go to that website, djkm.org, and see how you can be involved and how D. James Kennedy Ministries is involved with many other issues, including big tech censoring conservative organizations and much more. And don't forget the seven-day-a-week, 24-hour-a-day prayer line. Call it at 1-888-388-2683. That's 1-888-388-2683. And thank you for joining me on The Lookout Guy.